What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is on expectations versus reality for when I create my YouTube videos. Basically, it's like what it looks like in my head versus what it actually turns out to be like or like behind the scenes of it. I tried to make this video kind of funny, so a lot of the realities are pretty exaggerated, but hopefully you get my point. With all that said, let's get right into the video. The first expectation versus reality is when I create tutorials. I've tried to make tutorials before, but they end up being pretty messy and pretty bad. I'm just not the person that's very good at teaching people. For an example, when I make flipping tutorials, I just don't know how to explain it and make it simple for the person to understand it. Also, I've kind of stopped doing flips, so I'm not like super good at them. Or I'm just not in shape to do flips, you know? So this is expectations versus reality when creating flipping tutorials. What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do a backflip on the ground. So, get a nice open area. What you wanna do is you wanna bend down, arms back, really far back to get that upper momentum. You gotta be really explosive with this. So knees down, about in a zigzag, pretty easy zigzag. I'd recommend learning this on trampoline first. Go down, up, head back, not too much, cause you don't wanna be just throwing it back, kinda of look a bit though but that's one thing your body will follow with your head. So down, up, jump as high as you can, and make sure you have a solid tuck. Make sure you're going straight up and down, not back, or else you'll lose height. So once you have all that, it should look like this. And there, you've learned to backflip on the ground. What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do a backflip on the ground. What you wanna do is you wanna like, you wanna be able to jump high. I'd recommend learning this on trampoline first with no bounce and then move through mattress and then you should be able to do it on ground. Um, so like, sh make sure your shoulders are back. When you go down, go down kind of far. In the end, it should look like this. Gosh, dude, can't do flips anymore. Oh, maybe I should do a scooter tutorial. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do a tail whip on the scooter. All right, so start off with the basics. You need a good high, pretty pretty decent bunny hop. Get pretty high. They need to learn how to know how to spin it. So when spinning it, you just do this with the handlebars and after a while you'll get very fast. The second one is trying a trend. I try trends every once in a while when I'm like out of video ideas. One trend I did early on was the who knows me better challenge. And that actually was the best video on my YouTube channel with 1.6K views. I thought the video was bad myself, but I don't know, man, it seemed to do good. So I always thought maybe I should do more trends, but it's hard to follow them. It's hard to figure out what they are. So this is what trying to trend looks like for me. Film today. Let's check the trends. Hmm. Mr. Beast. What? Last one to leave the circle wins ten thousand dollars. Fifty-four million views, bro. Okay, okay, I see you. Okay. Today, guys, we are doing last one to leave the circle wins one thousand dollars. Our contestants are. Jack and Isaac, they're facing each other. So, you guys, once you step into the circle, you're not allowed to leave. If you leave, you lose. Step into the circle. Your time has started. Isaac, how you feeling? I don't know, man. I'm like, really tired. Hey, can you help me up? Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> Jack, you just won a thousand dollars, man. How do you feel? Well, I can't even buy a car. Once you step into the circle, you're not allowed to leave. If you leave, you lose. Step into the circle. Your time has started. You just want to split the money and leave? Honestly? Sure. Alright, now the third one is doing trick shot videos. Trick shot videos are cool and all, but like, they take so long to make. It's the one kind of video that takes years longer to actually film than to edit. And don't get me wrong, editing takes a long time too. You have to sync the music, you have to put all these fancy and cool transitions into the video. I'm just not willing to put that much effort into one video. Mostly since, you know, I'm a small channel. Although they are fun to do and final product looks super cool. This is expectations versus reality when making trick shot videos. This is the roof shot. Frisbee snipe shot. I'm gonna take this here frisbee and hit this here water bottle. I guess I got my head in the clouds. Oh! Let's go, Jack! Let's go! Yeah, dude! This is the roof shot. This is the frisbee snipe shot. I'm gonna take this here frisbee and hit this here water bottle from a long distance. Oh, we ain't getting that back. That's long gone. Bro, you know how much those pines hurt? Minus one frisbee. Oh, man. Ow. Ah. Oh, jeez. Ah. Oh, my God. Fourth expectation versus reality is creating high-quality videos. As any YouTuber, you picture it as having all this high-quality equipment and planning all these videos very well. Basically, like, just very professional. Although, that's never how it actually turns out. So, this is what it looks like for me. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about how the earth is actually flat. Alright, good. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about how the sun isn't actually the sun. Last but not least is the final part of making any video and that is editing. How I expect editing and how I want it to be is like you just sit there and grind it out and actually kind of enjoy it. I actually enjoy editing a bit but I always get sidetracked or distracted from being on my own computer. Like start playing games or talking on discord. Basically anything but editing. This is expectation versus reality, editing my videos. All 
right, let's get this video edited and posted. Let's get this. And post it. Alright, let's get this video edited and posted. Let's get this. I'm bored. Let's play some Minecraft. Oh yeah. Need some cobblestone. Alright, that should be good. Oh! Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I feel like this is time to criticize myself and learn from it. It was fun creating this video, and this may not apply to other YouTubers. Anyways, hit that subscribe button for me, and I don't have anything else to say, so I'm just going to end the video. As always, guys, stay flipping awesome, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.